Whew, it is a beautiful toasty day here in the state of Oregon. If you guys that are new here, if you haven't been following the channel, basically we're on a giant RV fishing road trip. Started in Delaware, now we're over here on the west coast in the state of Oregon. Things are about to get a little bit interesting, man. First of all, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but over here, there are so many RV freaking people parked. There's a Walmart over there. It's like a whole community. There's literally a whole RV park outside of Walmart. We still have not yet camped outside of a Walmart. Maybe we'll have to do that in the future, probably, probably pretty soon. It's hard to call yourself a true RVer if you've never camped outside of Walmart. But we've got Kelsey and we got the puppy and stuff. I don't know, we're, we're, we'll do it soon. Either way, today, as you guys can see, we're in a parking lot. This parking lot is not just any parking lot, man. It's a parking lot to a pet store. Now, this is uh, PetSmart, I mean Petco, PetSmart, Walmart, I don't freaking care. Pet stores are low-key fire, man. And not just for going in and see the little gerbils and puppies and stuff. These pet stores are a secret hidden gem gold mine as far as fishing goes. Now, I don't know about Oregon, but I know back in Delaware, I mean, this was the case. So if you don't have the time, you know, to go to uh, Dick's Sporting Goods, Cabela's, if you don't have, you know, local tackle shops to go get bait and go out and go fish and have a good time, pet stores. I mean, think about all the animals people have, all the interesting stuff, and you know, they, all those things need to eat. So this place has food and, you know, the fish will eat some of that food as well. So we're gonna go in here and see what they have. I think we've done this twice before on my channel. We actually got kicked out of a pet store back in the day. I'll link that video below. But basically, the cool thing about these, especially when I was living in Delaware, is we didn't really have like an ice fishing season or like a fishing season at all in the winter. So uh, a lot of places, you know, you couldn't find certain baits. You couldn't find, you know, live night crawlers, mealworms, stuff like that. The pet store had it. So I don't know, I mean, this is a completely different area. This is on the coast. I know pet stores down in Florida, I think, have crawfish and stuff. I don't, you never know what they could have here, man. Like what feeder, little baits, what stuff they got. So yeah, man, I'm gonna stop talking. We're gonna go in here, look at some stuff. We also have another mission as well. The past couple times I did these challenges, we never had a pet, but now we have a little tiny golden retriever. Well, I guess not tiny, in my mind he's tiny, but it's a big old one-year-old puppy golden retriever. We're gonna buy him some treats or toy or something. I don't know. But then uh, if you stay tuned until the end of the video, we'll give it to him, see how happy he is. But yeah, man, let me stop talking. Let's get in here, see if we can find some fishing bait and get out to the water, see if we can catch some fish out here in the state of Oregon. By the way, can we just take a second too and just appreciate the foliage? We were in the desert on this RV road trip for a freaking while, so to see some like color, I'm colorblind, but it's, you know, it's a livelihood, man, it's, it's some life. By the way, the cart thing is right there. Like who, who does this? Who does that? At least they're not throwing it in ponds, I guess, but who does that? Bro, I don't know how I made it into this aisle, but can somebody please tell me, what is that? It's like a Stranger Things sea monster for a fish tank. They have a robot dog. Ooh, that looks just like Camper right there. Where should we get him? There's so many stuff, so much stuff. The heck is that, man? Blow up a fire hydrant, but it's a dog? What? All right, again, first mission of the day. Dude, this is a big toy aisle. Find camp or something he would like. He has like a good amount of toys, but he went through this like chewing stage with like toys, like he didn't have a banana, but toys like that. He had a bunch of stuff kind of similar-ish and he just tore it up. This is kind of interesting. Bacon cheeseburger bone? Oh, $20. Hmm. Kick fetch? $37. That is a lot of money. That's interesting though. I mean, can you just use a normal ball though? I don't know. All right, so there are a ton of freaking things here, but I think what we're gonna be going with, he loves to play tug of war, which I know there's gonna be people, oh, you shouldn't tug of war with your dog. This thing looks fun. We might get this. Looks indestructible, kind of. Oh, dude, this is what I wanted to get him for his birthday, $14.99. That is a giant freaking bone. Kelsey said that they're not good for dogs, I guess. I don't know. Lots of stuff. All right, back to the actual point of this video. Oh, dude, that man's going hard back there. I don't even know if you can see that. Holy crap, look at that little guy right there. So, over here, I think is where, like where we feed, you know, turtles, fish, lizards, stuff like that. Oh my gosh, look at the freaking fishing section. Oh, well, fish section. Holy crap. Wait, where are the fish at? Long fin leopard. I don't even see anything. My man's leopard found a home. All right, Let's see if there's anything cool here real quick. Anything cool. 
Oh, dude, that's actually pretty cool. They have a fish tacos truck. And now, oh, they, see, there's, there's a better look at it. That's freaking sick, dude. And there were some tiger barbs. Oh, here we go. This is the section. Okay, so what do we have here? We have red wigglers, night crawlers, wax worms, giant mealworms, regular mealworms. Okay, then we got crickets down here. Oh, and these are like cricket food, it looks like. Cricket quencher, uh, orange cube cricket food. Oh, hornworm, roaches. Wait, what? Dubia roach? Where's the roach? Hello, what is this? Super worms, live crickets, live crickets, hornworm. All right, so this is what I was talking about, man. If you don't have any bait, or any, you know, any lures or anything, you just come with a hook, just come here, man. There, I, I mean, I honestly have never seen a fridge that full here. Like the ones in Delaware, I don't even think had night crawlers, and they have red wigglers and night crawlers. Night crawlers are five twenty nine, which I think that's a little bit more expensive. Um, I think there's twelve in there, something like that. Yeah, five twenty nine is kind of more expensive than I think Bass Pro Shops usually like three or four dollars. But I mean, I don't know. Maybe these are more high quality. They're made for eating. I don't know. That's so many crickets right here. The other thing too, right on the end here, they have freaking fruit flies. So like. If you really don't like somebody, dude, just bring this to their house, open it up. Look at this thing. Ay, ay, ay. $7.99 now. I really want to see what these roaches look like. Oh. They're like little circle. I don't know if I want to mess with that, dude. Uh, last time we used a hornworm, I think, and a superworm as well. I think what we're going to do, man, is going to kind of be a showdown. Uh, we're going to pick, let's say, three different baits here head to the water and see you know what we can do with them i think first of all we're just gonna get some good old night crawlers just as like a baseline you know next let's get okay so 20 cents more these are small medium medium and large are 449 let's get a box of these feeling this box oh yeah all right so that's two baits third one what should we do we got box horn worm we got Thing hornworm, dude, that's ten dollars. The heck is it even in that? It's kind of freaky a little bit. We got the roaches. Ah, uh, let's go with superworms. Thirty count, boom. I don't even know what price that is, but there we go, man. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think is going to catch the most fish. This is going to be so interesting, man. Especially in Oregon. Oh my gosh. Can you guys see this fish in there? That white one is so cool looking. Oh, look at this dude. Hello, sir. Loki, I miss having a pet fish, man. I guess once we're not doing the RV stuff anymore, unless dude's gonna be living in an earthquake every day. Oh, look at this, too. That's not just a UFO, it's a glowing UFO. We got a treasure chest, battleship. I mean, we got some, we got some cool little fish tank stuff here, man. Seahorse, but the seahorse tells you the time. We got dragon head buried in sand. Very interesting stuff here, man. We got like the Coliseum, the freak, or not, not at the Coliseum, what even is that? Man, I'm gonna stop talking before we get kicked out of a pet store here again. Already got some interesting looks. Yeah, let's get out of here, I'll tell you guys the total. Let's go see if we can catch fish. Hopping out the store. It was like 15 bucks for everything but this big old freaking toy, which hopefully doesn't rip. It doesn't look like it will, but I, I don't know. I would be sad. I think it was not cheap. But yeah, we're gonna give that uh, to Camper at the end of this. Look how happy. That puppy looks right there. I don't even know if you can see that. He's probably going to be so excited, man. He loves tug of war. And uh, yeah, let's get over to the water. I have an interesting spot in mind. Let's see if we could, like, this is going to be pretty cool, man. All right, so we're starting to stay off here at a spot that we came to not too long ago over here in Oregon. But uh, I have a few reasons I want to kind of go here. So this is kind of going to be the setup for this first spot, at least. We have the mock light you guys see me use this in a lot of different videos i freaking love this ultra light combo we just re-spooled it six pound fluoro we have a tiny tiny little hook and then up here we got a good old pokeball man one thing i just gotta say man do not be ashamed to use a good old bopper a tactical flotation device especially an og one like this literally a pokeball dude we're gonna see how this works if you guys watch the channel usually you guys know i use like the orange ones that have like the weight in them so i can fling them out there a little further but i could not find those so uh that's what we got man so we're gonna go over here this spawn to my right we checked it out a little bit last time we might check it out more 
today, but I think we're gonna go up here to the left first. Bro, I just heard two little kids going at it. Oh my, okay, so dude fishing over there. We're gonna go, with, I don't think we went this way last time. And by the way, this is like a completely different RV park than where I'm staying and you know, where my RV is parked. But this one's actually really, really nice, especially since it has all these ponds right here near and everything. Super sick, but this one is at capacity. Ever since we first came here, it's just been completely full. Again, this was the spot. Ooh. Ooh. Super clear water. It drops off right there. All right, yeah, no, yeah. We're gonna start right here. Just kind of knotted this up. Hopefully they all didn't croak. I don't want crickets cricketing around my freaking truck, dude. Ugh. Hello? So, again, we got good old bug bite. Oh, dude, look at those crickets. There's some big old crickets. We got the super worms. We got the night crawlers. Hmm. I think we'll save night crawlers for last. I don't know if I want to open these up yet. I don't even. Do I remember what super worms are even? That's a good question. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, they're freaking cr going crazy. Okay, so those are super worms. That's kind of weird looking. Um, I don't know if I've ever actually seen those before at all. Maybe last time, if we ever got them before, they were not as lively. So, props to Oregon on your worm game. I don't know, can these things bite you? I literally have no clue. Wait, all right, let's get one out. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. And he's off to the races. Super lively, dude. I don't know which side is his head and which side is his freaking tail. So again, this is the rig. Got this bobber going down, maybe like a foot, foot and a half. Oh, he's dancing. We're gonna get that guy out. He is like legit dancing. All right, let's see if we can actually Oh, that's pretty good, actually. Come on, just eat it. I might need to break off pieces of the worm, man. I think it's twerking out there looking good, but it's so freaking thick. Like, long. All right. All right, all right. I'm going to cast this out one more time a little bit further. I'm going to go a little bit more to the left. But yeah, some people like to put um, either a jig head under the bobber or split shots, like, before the bait so it kind of gets down there more. I like it like this, man. Just naturally... Falling, swaying down. It's got the little kick in action. I didn't know these things were so, like, lively, dude. All right, how we doing, soldier? Oh, it's got, like, can you guys see his legs and stuff right there? These guys are tough. All right. Let me get this out of there. All right, I don't know if you can see that. I just chopped him kind of up a little bit. <laughs> Sorry about that, bud. He was croaked already, though, but... That might make it a little bit easier. I just want to see what these fish are. And actually, I'd be kind of hyped if it's bluegill. Because I think I see some of them going around. It's been so long since we've caught a freaking bluegill, dude. Bluegill buffet has been on hold. Wait, what's that? Oh, someone's got it. Someone's got it. Someone's got it. What we got? <laughs> First fish of the freaking day. What is this? Try not to be too loud because there's like people kind of around me trying to enjoy their own fishing time oh my gosh look at that super worm right in the freaking top of the mouth that dude had the bobber skirting all right let's go dude oh my gosh that is so cool as i said man i have not caught a bluegill this is this is the og man this is my old long lost buddy right here i haven't you know had contact with these dudes in a long time i mean all these places we were fishing Colorado, I mean, New Mexico, I don't know, kind of had them, but ever since we left New Mexico, Colorado, Wyoming, everywhere, man, really have not caught a bluegill. I haven't even seen a bluegill. So that's freaking sick. First fish of the day on the super worm. Let's see if we get some more out here. I don't know if there's just bluegill, bluegill, if there's other sunfish in here, or if there's perch. Apparently, there's a lot of perch around the areas. Oh, what is that? Oh, freaking let go of it, dude. I don't think that was a gill. It's pretty cool. Once it splashes, like just everything's like, oh, it goes and runs over to it. Oh, they're like fighting over it. It's feisty dudes. Oh, Pokeball got all soggy. All right, well, so far, the crush of the super worms. I mean, not all getting them in the mouse and stuff, but kind of like, 
yeah, they like them. The question is, how do we get one cricket out of here? Pencil punch door? Place in vivarium? Oh, there's tape on here. Okay, how do I get one cricket out without losing all my crickets? We lost one. <laughs> all right, there we go. Secured one of the lost stray guys. So there we go, man. That is one of those 25 to 30 crickets. This, I think, dude, I, I think this is a sleeper bait. I think this is gonna get literally crunched. Bro, literally right away. We had one. Oh my gosh. Look at that. This is just on the ground. First cast. He literally swooped it in. It was so weird having these in the car next to me because like it sounded like it was raining or something with all the cricket sounds. Let me know down in the comments below though. Have you guys ever fished with crickets? Again, I feel like this is seriously sleeper bait that... Ouch. But yeah, it's a natural forage for a lot of these fish. And it just looks so good. Just like in Mulan, man. It's the lucky cricket. There we go. Come here. Get up here. What do we got? Second fish of the day. Second bait of the day. Yet again. What can I say, man? It's a buffet, dude. Oh, boy. Just, just chill for a second, man. Oh, we still might get the cricket back. The lucky cricket. Whew, there we go, man. Second fish of the day. Beautiful. Can you even see that? Yeah. Pretty little dude right there. Get back. Now, I know what a lot of you guys might be thinking here, too. Like, oh, dude, you're just using a bobber, catch us a bluegill. I'm telling you, man, if you have not done this, like, I think this is a very underrated, you know, way of fishing. Think about it, man. A lot of us, I mean, most of us probably grew up fishing like this. Put a worm under a bobber, catch some sunfish. I mean, it's just, I don't know, it's just this nostalgic, you know, it brings you back. Just catching fish, man. So I'll just being out here, but catching fish on top of it, you know, it's, this is a good time, man. I don't know if they want it now. Cricket's all smooshed up. Oh, all right, man. So just so we have it for the record, night crawlers, 12 count. This was, yeah, they were, you know, these are premium night crawlers, I'm guessing. A little more expensive. Um, yeah, it's kind of just like normal night crawlers. Oh, actually, that dude's tugging. I just wanted to throw a few more casts here, see if we can get one. Or see if we can get something on this night crawler. And I think actually there's a pond that's kind of a far distance away. All right, third bait going down. Little night crawler. It's got it. Oh my god, that thing shot under the water. <laughs> Holy crap, dude! If you told me this kind of vision is not fun, man, I just don't know what to tell you. Holy crap! All right, third fish of the day. Three for three on the gills. Right in the bottom of the mouth, right there. Little night crawler piece. That dude just came up and smoked it. Yet again, pretty gill. Back in the water. Hey, what's this? What's that? What's that? What is that? You excited? Mommy's opening the door. Are you excited? What do you think? <laughs> huh? It's like tug of war now. He's already tugging. <laughs> you like it? <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> it's already starting. It's tug of war. Who's gonna win? Well...